is Charisma. I'm from a small town in, it's called New Prague. No one knows where it is, but it's like 30 minutes away from Burnsville where I'm at now. So I don't know, I've been opening up for people for, since I was what, 16, so I'm 19 now. So three years of just opening for people. I've opened like for some big shows, obviously. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. I've opened up for some big people like Chris Webby and like even Wiz and stuff, but it's just cool to have your own show where you get to, you know, people are coming to see you, you know? It's a really great feeling. That's, that's, that's going to be sick. Um, we're going to road trip it out there. It's going to be like 13 hours. <sighs> Me and my DJ Briar and my merch dude Zach, we're just going to go out there. We're headlining, like co-headlining it, so we get to go Friday night at like 9.30 at night. It's going to be good. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's the first year it's a festival, so, I mean, it's not Somerset or anything, but it's awesome, so, yeah. Okay, well, I think it started, when I really started getting into it, it was called Nothing Is Noise. It was my first, like, mixtape that, like, people started getting Hold attention. Stop the, paying attention. stop the interview right now. Oh, God. Stop man. this interview. You better be putting this online right now. Yeah, it's just filming. <laughs> what up? Oh, say well. What up? Side real. That's Charisma. That's Daisy. Squat! Yes. That's my friend. So. Yeah. Um, no, Nothing Is Noise came out April 6th of my senior year, so, um, and then I put Neighbors out like three months later, like I just put it out, it came out real quick, but I liked it, and it was only like 12 songs, and it was kind of the first step into like what I'm going to do now, because like Neighbors, instead of having fans, I feel like, I don't want to be better than anyone else, like I think that's dumb to me, like I feel like an artist think they're just cooler than someone, like, it's just like a craft, like some people are good at like carpentry or like sports, I'm just good at making music, well I hope to, people think that, you know. So neighbors was like my fan base, you know, like, but I don't want to call my fans because that's dumb. So I made that. People really liked it. It's the first where people actually caught on. And then sober is more of a, a darker side, and everyone knows that. Well, never everyone knows, but I'm like a sober rapper. I've never drank, never smoked. Which I don't want to glorify either. Do what you want. So that's just my take on what I do with my life. I don't know. I think we progressed. I mean, I think quality-wise, it sounds a lot better. And uh, content-wise, I think it's just a whole different mixtape, so it's different. You know? uh, I don't know. We're, this is the first date, technically. Yeah. We have this, and then we're going to play like a small show at our school in Mankato. Then we do all go to Montana. And we're going to Montana. And the next day, we go, or the next weekend, we open for Sir Michael Rocks. He's done some shows with like uh, Mac Miller and all that. He's on Mac Miller's new mixtape, so that'd be fun. And then two weeks later, we got some shows that we can't announce yet, but they're gonna be with Surprise. like the, the U and stuff, so it's gonna be big ones, yeah, for sure. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's a good feeling, you know, because like you want to get out there, but you want to do it the right way, and you don't want to just follow a bunch of people to follow them, like that's just dumb, so I, I just, you know, I just, I just like not having like power, but like having a voice and having people listen for good or bad. I just like, I just like that feeling, you know, like I can make a change for someone. And uh, Booty Gang, I don't know. They're dudes from actually like Prior Lake and stuff. And we, I knew one of the guys, and then we linked up with the other guy who's like the Booty Gang side of it. One guy's business, one guy's the tweet guy he tweets. And we just started talking and we kind of do stuff together now. So I sell their merch for them and they help me out with Twitter and all that stuff. So yeah, it's awesome. this one, I put in a lot of work because it's funny, we had this show planned out. It was gonna be a free show, everything. And then literally the next day, Modson tweets, having a dollar show at the garage. And we went, I was hanging out with Modson and Black Bear and we were just talking and it's just like, oh dude, I was gonna have a free show next month. But like, I don't wanna make it seem like I'm copying you. So we just made a regular show and I don't know, we're just gonna put tons of effort in this because I finally got my own DJ, own merch suit and it's, I feel like I have a team finally. I've done this all on my own, like all on my own. So it's kind of cool to have other dudes helping me out. And they're my friends too. They're not like business partners. Like we just oh, yeah. chill and mess around. Like we're gonna drive in that white car all the way to Montana together. It's gonna be crazy. So it's cool. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I like listening to like albums straight through. They like play the song, change it. Play the song, change it. That's one thing. I don't know. We all like the same music, though, so it won't be bad. But I just like listening straight through. That's kind of like what I did with Sober. I like, I wanted it to be more of a story, you know, not like a story yeah, step by step. It. Yeah, I was listening to. Yeah, I came yeah. It's it kind of goes one into the other. There's no song where like that shouldn't be on the next day, you know. Yeah. So that's what I try to do with that. Yeah, shows. We're just trying to get a lot. I I was working with a few different producers and just came across, and I was just like, 
this is weird. Like this beat is, it's like, a, I think it's a Lana, I didn't ask him yet, it's a Lana Del Rey or some sample of the voice. And um, I just thought it was cool. And then I, I, if you listen closely, the first verse is all about me kind of being like a shitty boyfriend. And then the second part is all about her. Like it seems like I'm talking about it again, but at the end it's, it's really about the girl talking back to me. So I don't know, you gotta listen to the girl. Probably, yeah. it's, I'm, I, Let's get over, Chris. Let's join this thing together, Let's dude. Let's do it. Hey, world. <laughs> I like to get high. Sober life. Uh, Sober life. Uh, <laughs> you want to hit it? All right. Hell yeah. That was a nice Contact little plug right up. there. He, that's a nice little plug you can use, bro. Yeah. For the album. Sober life right there. Bam. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> I know. Is it your water? I got the yeah, most... Um, people that support me, most neighbors are right around here. You know, so I, I have some people like you know north of the cities and stuff. But I think it's an all ages venue. So then if you have any like 14 to like 16 year old kids that like, you have to ask your mom. It's a lot easier to say I want to go to Burnsville by a cop station than just to say I want to go to Minneapolis. You know, right by a strip club. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just more convenient for kids that can make it. And that's what I want. I just want more people. I guess it's not about the money. The more people that can come, the better. Yeah. You just come and you're just like, am I all right? <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. That's why I like the garage, though. So. Is there like any future projects you're working on right now? Yeah. Is it right now? Always. I got some good stuff. I'm going to play, um, I might play Gaby Hell tonight, but I'm for sure going to play a new, new one. Where are the boys? It's called, it's called We're not Kids. Go Basically, just DJs my shows. Like, we don't work on songs together. Like, I, I just do it. Like, I have producers that send me beats, and then I just, you know, kind of write to it and then make it, and then I show them first, and then they're like, it's dope, then put it out. Like, Zach, my merch dude, loves um, Gaby Bell. Loves it, so that's why I put it out. But that's not gonna be on any mixtape. This is not anything like I've been writing at all. So we'll probably play tonight. People like it. Well. So what do you expect to play your music from What do you expect to play? Well, I, I, I kind of, I don't want to judge it by Twitter because I think that's dumb, but last September 1st, I was at 583 followers. I'm like, I really remember that. So 583 followers on September 1st. And in September, I want to have like, maybe sweet have 3,000. Just showing that growth, because I've had my, from year one, when I had my Twitter, to then, so it was like two years, and I only have 500 followers, and I like 2,000 in the last month, so like, I just want to keep, I don't know, it's not even about Twitter really though, it's about everything, like the show, this is going to be, hopefully this is a great show, I don't know, we're trying to get on tour with some people right now, we're going to announce anything yet, but once it comes out, uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be, oh, when you hear it, who we're working with and stuff, we're talking to, 
next summer, next summer. we're gonna do, do something crazy. We're gonna be people will know about us next summer. Give us nine months. That's what we got. Nine months. Heard it. Nine months. Nine months. We're gonna be people will know. People will know. Promise. Yeah. You know what? If it doesn't, I don't care because we just want to make music for have fun. And the bonus is being able to do it, make some money here and there, and change people. I just want to, I just want to make music that people don't like listen to. Me. They're like, wow, you don't sound like anyone. I like when people tell me that. I'd rather that than people are like, oh, you sound like this guy, you sound like this guy, which is cool, but I don't want to sound like you. You sound like your own experience. Exactly. Exactly. And like, and that's just one unique thing. Like, yeah, I'm sober, but. I still go to parties. I still like hanging out with girls. Like I do all those things. I just, I'm just there, but I'm not fucked up. I might be fucked up a little bit, but not, not stoned or anything like that. But I just feel like people. Sorry, I'm going off, but I feel like people should tell their experience, no matter what it is. You know, and if you smoke weed every day and you get drunk, I think you should tell them. Like, I think that's great because otherwise, if you say you don't, just to get more fans, you know, trust me, like I'm not gaining any more fans by saying, like, I'm not gaining. Yeah, I'm not gaining any. I don't drink, you know. That's. I don't think it's gaining me any. Like because of that, I think it's because I'm telling you what I'm saying. Yeah, my music. What you're saying. It's not like, not the message that you're like trying to portray. It's just your message regardless, and people enjoy that. I, you know. People say that it's all about the beat these days, which it is, but there's still a, there's a solid, there's a solid group of people still that listen to the lyrics. They could care less what's going on behind it. It's just a bonus, and that's what it is to me. I hear a beat, I'm like, it brings out an emotion, and then I can write to it. It's not like, oh, I want to turn up to this. I don't even know what turn up is. I don't need that word. I listen to lyrics, yeah. like yeah. Leonard. Yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah. You know, exactly. That's, I think that's exactly what you should do. Be all about the words. That's what hip hop is. It's poetry. It's instrumental behind it. It's not, you know, let's make a sweet EDM track. That's EDM, but hey, I'm not gonna judge though. I get messages like that all the time. And it's just like, I wonder what big artists, like I love um, Chance the Rapper and Jimmy and all this. You can't even imagine what they hear. Like, you know, the messages they get. I, I, I am a nobody compared to them. And I get messages and probably.
Deagle, come here. No, that's yeah, weird. Come back. Just come back. No. <laughs> Side road came in the smoke Oh, really? Yeah. Can't okay. get much worse than that, right? <laughs> so, fellas? Uh, yeah. How's it going? Daisy. What's your name? Daisy. Daisy, nice to meet you, Daisy. She's got some great questions. What kind of questions she has? Like, they've been philosophical questions. Really? Yeah, they have some serious questions? Okay. I gotta do sound check. Like, like what? Uh, let's do another question. She was just asking know. me. Yeah, ask the one you just asked. No, 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 I want him to answer okay. again. I just. Oh, I, I asked him if he could go back in time to when he was just starting. What would he say to his younger self? And I was looking oh, back and I said, dude, it doesn't get easier. Like, what? Yeah, I, I would say. It doesn't get easier for your bank account. No, <laughs> no like, exactly. I'd say it's. That's it's it. just doing much. I don't know. She didn't give these questions in advance? No, like, it's, it's great, though. It's great. Uh, I'd look back and. Yeah, I'd look back and I'd say, you know what? You're not gonna, you're gonna be hated a lot for your decisions you make. But I think if you have a mindset of doing what you want to do because it makes you happy, you know. I know it sounds cliche, but just keep doing what you do because that's what I've done. That's what he's done. We just keep doing what we want to do. We could trust me. We, there are people that you can tell change because it's easier. And I don't think changing because it's easier is gonna help you. It might help you for a while, but pretty yeah, soon you're gonna I think I think you tell your old self. Yeah. I'm the same you. Yeah. Right? Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. Be the same. Yeah, I'm about to think of that like the rest like the rest of the night. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Let's get back to the interview. I would've gone back. Right. I would've been like, she started. What? Yeah. Well, if I would've gone back too. Oh yeah, I started early. Oh, I would've started way early because yeah. how old are you? I was, I, my first show I did, I just turned 16. Yeah, 16 years my old. first show I was uh, 19 years old. Yeah. Where I'm I would've started when I was like 16. I yes. would way early. I was playing basketball all the time. So. Yeah. Can't freestyle. You no, I'm. Um, he's, he's, yeah. he's right. He goes on right before me tonight. We're doing a lot of shows. Coming up. We've done a lot of shows together. Yeah. Too. Like, awkwardly, actually. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot yeah. more though. Yeah, I gotta talk about that too. The future, like, yeah, I, I gotta talk about that too. That's some good news. Right for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Just let me know. It's more upbeat. It's a lot more happy. It's not much sad. So, I listen to this one and I'm like, oh, I need like. Yeah. It seems like I I get to know you. I'll be there in two minutes. But uh, now I like I said I wanted to tell a story, but I think using this like an album should kind of sound the same, and that's what I wanted to make. But it's called Sober the Next Day. So I, I wanted to have kind of the same message, like a bubble. All the songs kind of fit into the same thing, but I want them to be totally different. Like I want songs that for the kids is completely different than Forget Me Tonight. Yeah, like, oh yeah, song, yeah. I play last night. I play them both times. Stop. And when you get towards the end of the uh, song, like I read the mixtape, and those songs are more uplifting and stuff. And then you have Weird with Mandas, like that song. Oh. That's like completely out of the box, but it still fits because it's like talking about like kind of being judged for what you're doing, you know? So I think so. it all kind of fits. We're kind of kind of weird, huh? Like we're just we don't really fit in, but it's cool. Yeah. You know? So I think. Uh, what were you saying? Your favorite instrument than yeah, me? Yeah, like the preference for like the band. Honestly, I think it's all about, I like drums. If I don't like the drums, I don't do it. Like, I don't, and like I, I don't even like making a lot of beats. I like when people send me stuff that I work with, and I'm just like, oh. Like, if you can make a beat for me personally, I just like writing. I don't like sitting there and making a beat. I think people that do that, like, I always talk about g because I think he's a perfect example for almost everything. He came up slow, he did everything. He makes his beats, like almost all of them. And artists that can do that are true artists. I'm more of like, like I say the sober poet, because I'm basically just a poet. Like I just write stuff that I feel, and the rest of the stuff, like I mix it and all that, the beats get sent to me, that's just what I like, you know? Because I like having a beat, it's already, oh, just let me get my thoughts on this paper. That's what I do, and 
drums. If the, if the drums are dumb, I'm like, yo, can you change these drums? Or I'm not gonna listen to it. Cause I, like when you're at a show, it's the, it's the beat, you know? Exactly. If it's like, mm, I don't know, you know? So do you expect, like as you draw as an artist, do you expect to have your own drummer on tour with you? So like, you yeah, we, we, I had a drummer last summer. We opened for Mod Sun, I had a drummer. Um, but school got in the way, and so I'm gonna try to look for a drummer. But I want him to be my friend. I don't want to be like, hey, any drummers. I want him to be like my, my best friend. These two guys are my best friends, and that's what we're doing. I don't want anyone to not be my best like friend on tour because or anywhere because it's just like, and we're just business partners. And I don't think you work well when you're doing business. You have the most fun with your, your friends, you know. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Well, I don't. I like serious, but at the same time, you gotta loosen up. You can't just be on there. You know, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta mess around. Like tonight, oh, we're about to go, but we're gonna have, we're gonna talk so much crap to each other, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it, so. Charisma, I make music, now I'm an asshole. <laughs>